Hello, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about the complex mapping, the second one, but actually I skipped one. There's another one which is called the embeddable class, embeddable table, which is uh, uh, two different class which will map into one table. I introduced this when I introduced one to one embeddable. Okay, you take a look at that one, the same thing. And uh, this is the last one for complex, uh, but it have two keys. One is a composite primary key, which is uh, so far all the demos we see, we only using one column as the primary key, right? But in some, most likely it's gonna be in the legacy system. We might have two columns or more columns as the primary key. So how to do the mapping? Let's go to the code, okay? Go to the code, close all the things here, okay? And we will create another package. I forgot to create. Before the this one is a composite pk primary uh, composite uh, composite id uh, uh, ids okay uh, composite composite this is like this okay too difficult for me <laughs> I, I will make this entity to be I will com comment this entity so in our table, we want to generate a table. Okay, so we are clear it's because of all the values from here. So what should I say? Oh, let's give one example. Uh, 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 uh. Suppose we have a person. Okay, in the legacy system, the person uses the first name and the last name as the primary key. How to do that? First, we have to create another class called uh, name, okay? In this name, we're gonna hold the value for the first name and uh, private string last name, right? Okay, and uh, here, since this class is not uh, become a table, it's gonna become the primary key in another table. So here we don't add a entity. In add in, in okay, we add embeddable instead. Okay, and if we want to have getter setter, you can add a getter setter. And for this embeddable, this primary key class, it must implement serializable. which is a marker interface. And also, as we know, okay, as we know what? How could we differentiate two primary key? Here we're using first name and last name. How Java to compare these two uh, name objects are the same? We have to do what? We have to create a hash code and the equals, oh, sorry. We have to override the equals and hash code. We can do yes. We generate and in long book it also has one annotation called equals hash code, right? Hash code equals. Hey, Hash code. I remember it has hash code equals that uh, annotation. Hmm. I remember has. Let's take a look at okay. Oh, see here, equals hash code. So, uh, long book will generate equals and hash code for you, okay? And here I want to do one more thing. Yes, I will create the con default. Uh, I already have a non, uh, let me give a non argument constructor here, okay? And I have a uh, customized, because I later on I want to save a person to show you actually save the correctly. And the second one, we have a person and the person we're gonna have using entity right because person gonna turn into a table and the person has what kind of attribute 
uh, besides that name, private name and the name, right? So what should I use in here? Do I use an ID? No, we don't use an ID. ID is only applied for one column. And uh, here, since we are using another class as ID, we're using this one, embedded ID, okay, which is uh, this class, okay, is gonna be become an ID. It, the first name, last name, gonna become an ID. Okay, so let's add uh, one more, uh, what to have? Uh, let's have a birth date, how about that? Logo date, uh, birth date. Okay, I don't know others. I couldn't think about it. And here, if we want to have getter setter, you just add a getter setter and the non argument constructor, everything. Okay, I'll add those. And I will have a non argument constructor and I will have a customized constructor. Okay, and uh, that's it. So let's run and see if everything is created successfully. How to do that? Sorry guys, I have to copy this man from here. I don't want to write again because we write this one over and over again, right? Okay, make sure all the imports. Okay, good. So now we, I just do like this one. And when we run, it's gonna create tables if everything is uh, uh, set it successfully. And in our database, uh, let me drop all previous tables, okay. D, D, close, drop all the tables, drop now, good. And uh, I will do one thing, I'm still not uh, master this piece. Oh my God, how to do it more efficient. E, okay, good, like this way. Yes, it's good now. Okay, half, half. Okay, run. Mm. And now it's a time to wait. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Specify the key was too long. Do you remember this issue? Because we're using these two as the primary key. Let's add a column here. <sighs> let's yes, uh, let's using like uh, just uh, 20 okay okay run one more time mm, if you don't uh, know the issue you probably go and uh, take a look at the column that video I explained there Because, uh, let me explain since we are waiting. Because as a primary key, when we're using string type, the it's the default type gonna be var, varchar255. And uh, I'm using the engine for the database. My SQL is uh, my SM. And uh, the length for do the indexing and the unique checking is gonna be 1000 bytes. So the, ma uh, so, so the maximum uh, length for a string, it will be 1000 divided by 4, it's a 250, but default for string is 255. So if you're using a number lower or equal to 250, it's gonna be fine, okay? So let's see the table generated, okay? We have one person table. And see here, one, we have two class, but this class is used as a primary key. And here we go, see here, we have first name, last name, birth date. How can I see the structure of the table? Uh, this is structure of a table. And uh, we can see first name, last name, birth date. You can see here, before the first name, last name, it have a kind of like uh, the yellow as a key. This represent as a primary key. So both of them act as a primary key. Okay, and the last one I want to demo to you is to just insert a value. Okay, so let's create a name first. Name equals new name. Okay, the first name I think you already know. 
Okay, Tina, last name is X-I-N-G. And also for the person, uh, person, 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 P equals new person. And uh, the first one is a name. And the next one is a local date dot of, which is the birth date. I'm very, very young, okay? I just born this year, okay? And then we're using em dot persist p, okay? So that's it for this one. And let's run one more time. And to see the actual value stored, okay? It's gonna store Tina, XING, and 2019, January 1st. Okay, insert this statement, success, no errors. So refresh, you will see everything is stored successfully. So if I, oh, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, but anyway, how to differentiate? Uh, suppose now, okay, eh, let me show you, okay? Suppose now, okay. Name two, P2, P2. And here I just change to be eight, okay? So here, when I persist a two, you're gonna have a conflict because the name we have, because this is the primary key, right? We have two same prime two object with same primary key it's gonna have it, the it's gonna when we insert it, you can have a violet uh, something related to primary key uh constraint okay so make sure you have you make sure you what what should i say you override the hash code and equals method otherwise we're gonna using address to differentiate if they are the same name object oh i'm oh, sorry 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 i have to using this one sorry Sorry, here has to be using name two, right? Name two, okay. And uh, one more time. Mm, exactly. See here, you're gonna have an exception. The exception is a uh, different our project with the same uh, with the same identifier identifier here is the primary key with the same identifier value was already associated in the session which is uh, because when we persist everything has to go through the first level cache so it's already detect this person too has the same primary key as this person in the cache so it is through the exception okay so that's it for this video, which we talk about uh, complex mapping, share, no, uh, uh, what, uh, composite primary key. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you have any question, leave me, leave a comment. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.